This TV show should genuinely have never been aired. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Hello friends, me and Lewis are here today and we're going to be watching possibly the worst show that we've ever watched yet, Lewis. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know that was possible, Cam. Sorry, I just had a handheld mic and I got really excited. Normally anything this shape out, that's normally my natural reaction. Trust me, I know. The show is called Moment of Truth. The contestants do a lie detector test privately before they go on stage, where they're asked 21 personal questions and then live on TV, in front of their family, they have to answer those same questions again and hope that the answer they gave to the lie detector was in fact true. And if they get through the entirety of the 21 questions without lying, they win half a million pounds. And the questions get worse as the show goes on, so I would stick to the end if I was you. Ooh, look at me. I think you should stick to the end because we're just so funny, honestly. <laughs> don't, don't include that. Tom, include it. Tom, include it. So, let's get into it. Prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. By the way, he has a sensational hairline, doesn't he? I was thinking the same thing. Cam, when you've showed me all these shows, we've seen nothing but bad hairlines, but he is, he's got that unfortunate Steven Gerrard forward hairline. Definitely like uses caffeine shampoo. Is that a thing? What, which makes it fucking hyper as fuck? <laughs> does he make it shit himself? That's what it does to me. I just shit myself after the coffee. Well, let's meet our first participant. This is your- <laughs> Look at the way she's standing. Why is it like Royal Rumble number 30 about to come in? This is Randy Orton right now, ready to RKO someone. Do you know when you're dying? This is how I imagine what it looks like in your head, like when you're following the light. Do I know light. when I'm dying? I haven't died, Cam. Not yet anyway, baby. To be fair, you've had pneumonia like seven times. You're close to it. Oh my god, it's a chase! It's Anne Hegarty! Hope she doesn't take the lower offer. People kept signing me up to the chase. Oh yeah, people kept signing me up. I believe you, mate. They did. Why would people sign you up for the chase? How, how, what sort of prank is that? Because people would get my business email and sign me up to every show possible. I used to get emails saying, thanks for your application for Naked Attraction. Thanks for your application for the chase. Thanks for your application <laughs> to the cube. The cube! And Love Island! Oh, you don't want to go on with Philip Schofield. Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you've brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet him right. Why did they just light up? So dramatic. This guy sports midfield right there. <laughs> Frank, Lauren's husband. Jay, uh, Lauren's father. Tim, Lauren's mother. I am Monica, Lauren's sister. I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. This is going to end in tears. I just know because it's such a big prize fund that the questions are going to be horrific. Yeah, like surely you're just going to answer truthfully to everyone. Like you get paid more money. What, are you saying you could do this? How bad are the questions going to be? Like, have I ever thought about my own mother during the climax? What's the questions going to be? <laughs> well, you'd have to tell the truth, which is yes. Mm -hmm. Not like I've thought about your mother. Ah. What you, question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you did? Yeah, I, I did that to Cam. I did it to Cam and that's why he's bald now. I kept calling him Matt Healy wannabe. Shut up, man. Look at your mullet, man. You look like you've got a trust fund. I do. Do you actually? No, I wish I fucking did. <laughs> if I had a trust fund, I wouldn't be doing these videos with you. Well, no, I have never. That answer is... Imagine false. See you later. Next contestant. Oh, gosh, it's, it's like she's doing a reaction thumbnail. <laughs> See, she's got better reaction faces than you. True. Wow. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laugh? Have you ever flashed a stranger? Not intentionally. I've had my willy pop out my shorts a few times. Really? Yeah, it's just that long, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't think it was that big. Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's <laughs> flashed strangers. So oh, oh, oh la, la, to la, a la. crime on national TV isn't a, uh, like, fucking good thing. Yeah, I flash my cock to many people. Yeah, I've showed the neighbor my dick. Yes, Mark, I have. <laughs> True. <laughs> See that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you're a question you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button, we'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once though. Oh my god, imagine like he uses that when Have you ever been raw dogged by five men? It's alright, I don't know. Is that is that the brother or the boyfriend? I can't tell. Uh, the, the husband. Oh husband. Oh <laughs> have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting this. So uh Yes, I have gotten fired from capitalism. Boo! How dare you take money from capitalist companies? Boo! What an absolute devil! She probably nicked a couple of quid from like the McDonald's till. Your husband is a police officer. So, what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So, I am. She's in my prison. Well, Frank's full of jokes. She's in my prison. God, fucking blink twice if you need to help. <laughs> if you knew you wouldn't get caught, 
Would you steal money from your place of employment? Obviously. Would you? Obviously. How would you steal money from YouTube? I don't know, like do like a crypto brand deal. <laughs> Wait, no, that would mean you'd have to steal money from the audience. So you would steal money from your viewers if they would never find out. Wow. No, I never said that. I wasn't even meaning in my job. I just meant if I walked to the bank and I could have sent a million pounds in my bank account. Yes. Wow. No, I would not. True. So oh, now I seem like an awful person. You are an awful person, mate. I couldn't believe you'd steal your viewers' money without them knowing. Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep Oh! in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Have you ever done this? I would avoid having sex with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a police officer, mate. Imagine all the handcuffs he's got. Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> Frank looks like Aiden Ross if he never became a Twitch streamer. He does. He looks like if Aiden Ross had a corporate job. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister? If she were unable to have children. That is such a specific one. Yeah, I don't think that's ever crossed my mind. But why I can't carry babies? Or I might be able to. Who knows? Someone come inside me. We'll find out. Um, yes, I would be. That answer is... True. Wow. Okay, it's our last question to get a 25k. Do you know things about your father? That you keep secret from your oh, mother. Jesus oh, Jesus Oh my good God. He's about to kill that presenter. <laughs> he Look, was... he's, trying, he's trying to kill the presenter with his eyeballs. But he's looking at the button like, let's just, 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 just go for it. I'll just jump on it. Look at her face to him. He's considering pressing that button, isn't he? Don't say yes. Oh, God. Yes, I do. Fuck. I mean, surely there's like one or two things that you know about one of your parents that the other parent won't know. Like what? That OG? He goes in the shower twice a day. I don't fucking know. He goes in the shower twice a day? Christ, what a clean boy. That answer is... <laughs> True. Yeah. Where the fuck's he going? What? He's got a batter on. Oh, no, he's hugging her. He's hugging her. Okay, cool. Wait, she snitched on him and he's saying thanks. Maybe he's trying to like brown nose her before uh, she reveals what it is. He's whispering to her. Don't you fucking dare say something, <laughs> you little cunt. Don't you dare mention that orgy. Ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? <laughs> I'm already in trouble, I don't know. Oh, so they're not going to tell us the secret? Oh, I need an after show, mate. This is blue balling us so hard. The mother is fuming, by the way. This family is going to be torn apart by the I end. I mean, she would be, wouldn't you? You'd be like, what the fuck is it? Yeah, because your mind instantly goes to the worst. It's not like, uh, oh, you know, eat a cheese string whole. This is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Oh. Quite honestly, if I had had my boat, it would not have aired. <laughs> Oh, that is not a good sign. If you have to give a disclaimer into the TV episode 22 minutes in, it's not a good sign. Like, he's literally just here for the bag. He's like, my morals? I, I don't agree with this show. I'm literally just here for the paycheck. I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. What? What? How bad is it? Does she admit to, like, murdering babies or something? What could the question be? Where he literally takes away all responsibility and also says, look, don't watch it. Just don't watch. Maybe, like, have you slept with another family member? Question 12. Do you secretly <gasps> stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? <laughs> Now their party started. But she obviously knows these questions are coming up, right? Because she answers them before the show, no? You've already answered the question. So why did then you agree to go through with the live show? Yeah, like surely you go, oh, I'll just take 25k and dip. Or maybe money outweighs models. What do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Uh, the answer is no. Oh. oh. That answer is... True. Fair enough. I thought the answer was going to be uh, yes, that she does. Just the way it was worded was so specific. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear <laughs> as if you were single? <laughs> Someone in the crowd was like, oh, that's the one that got him. Absolutely seems if she doesn't have one, one on right now. That's a good one. That. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine like Mark L. Wahlberg when he's reading these out, he gets like the question goes. <sighs> Fuck, I've, I've got to ask you this. I think he gets erect when he asks this. I think his penis, like, he gets a semi, and whether it goes down or erect depends on our answer. Like, he really gets off to this. What, and then when he gets to, like, half a milli, he just ejaculates? Everywhere. Yes, I have. Oh. That answer is... 
Oh boy. <laughs> Why is he just sitting there like, oh wow, how silly. Oh boy, she's so silly. I love my daughter. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend oh, on your wedding? Oh, Jesus event? Christ. He's not smiling anymore, Cam. He's an angry elf. He's not happy at all. Imagine though, mate, like this is the most, your most special day you've ever gonna have. You're at the altar and your wife, who you love, is actually thinking of somebody else. Not looking good, bruv. Not looking good, bruv. That answer is... True. Can't lie, that's kind of cold. Like, on a wedding day, that wasn't even the most special day of our life. That was just, like, another day. I just love the dad is absolutely loving all this. He's just like, you go, girl. Woohoo! Dad's just trying to make up for that secret. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it, given what we're doing. He's like, literally, just take the money, just leave. Please think about this, Lauren. Please <laughs> just fucking think about it. Like, please. Okay, if you just take the money, we all get to leave early. Frank. Were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Well, bit of a silly question. I imagine not. Otherwise, he wouldn't have married her. I know you still got feelings about your ex, but don't worry, love. We'll just go to Cancun for two weeks. He's definitely got a big smile on his face. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that at all, but I'm sure she'll explain it to me when she gets home. Uh, no. I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends yeah, Everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. <laughs> He's like a substitute teacher. One more question to get you $100,000. Unless you tell me to stop. Lauren, tell me to stop. Oh, God. He's like, please, Lauren, just please fucking stop. Lauren, I've got all the questions written out here. You don't want this smoke. I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, oh, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love how honest he is. Uh, you're just making it worse. No, no, no. Seriously, it's really fucking no, bad. You're going to want to kill yourself. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. <gasps> it's by a surprise guest. No, no, no. You're gonna bring no, him in. No, no, no. Oh. Is this him? No. Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? I I can't speak right now. This is your ex-boyfriend Frank. Oh my god, God. Imagine you being in this situation. And also, why did the ex-boyfriend agree to this? Move on. He looks like a Jewish choir boy. If you've seen the TikTok, you know what one I'm talking about. This is honestly horrific. Imagine how that guy is feeling right now. I kinda love it though. The producers are insane. What do you think the question will be? Do you think it'll be like Did you steal my hoodie? I reckon it's gonna be like, Are you still in love with me? Do you know, like under any circumstance, if your ex was on this show, would you ever agree to go on? No, it just seems like a I think I'd have a panic attack. Or, or do you mean like as a surprise guest. Yeah, like you were the surprise oh, guest. Oh fuck it, yeah, let's cause chaos. <laughs> yeah, if anything, you're just there for a day out and you're getting paid for it as well. Hello Frank, how are you doing? Look at his face, he's loving it. <laughs> he's laughing, I told you. He's the conductor of chaos, he's loving this. He's got all dressed up for it as well. <laughs> Straight as that George Freeze to uh, shirt. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Ten times worse than what I thought it could have been. Oh my god, no, mate. I love no, it. I love no. it. This is real TV. Love Island. I'd watch this every year. I'd watch a winter edition of this. If you say I don't want to answer this, then it's an obvious yes. If you say no, then you'll get caught lying. Then there's no winning here. There's no winning. And she's looking down already. We know what the answer is here. To be fair, normally she smiles when she's telling the truth. She's like, ha, yeah, sometimes I fucking like cheat on my husband. Yeah. <laughs> like, normally she's been like really giffy about it, but she seems very serious right now. I bet you the dad's going to be like fucking crack it up. Yeah, you go, girl! By the way, the, the husband and this ex-boyfriend look so similar. Like, she's definitely got a type. I think they're both just from the 2000s. He looks like the Chad version of him. Yeah, he looks like the one that played uh, American football. Football versus, like, the, the chess team. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No? No, oh, no, 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 Fuck you, sister. Oh, you've done absolutely nothing this episode, and you've ruined it. You've ruined it, you Taylor Swift wannabe. <laughs> you've ruined it. Isn't that, like, kind of perfect? Because it was like, oh, I, I would have said no, but the sister done it. Or does this make her more, like, incriminating because she's probably confided in her sister? She's probably said something to her sister. Her sister's got to know. Either way, it's not a good look. <laughs> Honest to God, I'd pay a half a million just to cut the fringe. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Frank wanted to, you silly Billy. God, so selfish. Honestly, fringy. My question to you, Lauren, is did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. Don't, don't say that. Oh my God, this girl. She is like, that's so toxic. God, I'm so nervous for what the next question is going to be. Once again, question 15. Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? It is literally just the exact same question. It is just in less life. words. It's like you try to figure out a YouTube title. Well, uh, uh, wow. Um, um, I want to be honest. 
and they yes. Oh my god, what is going on? This show is brutal. I am underneath my desk. Lewis, are you okay? I'm hiding under the desk, Cam. I can't I can't finish this. This isn't even the last round. Have <laughs> yeah. you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean I didn't know he was still an issue. With an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're you're not happy. Are you unhappy? No, mate, I'm actually really happy with my marriage. I'm loving it. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? What Oh, the crowd have turned. It's like Rocky IV. <laughs> you know why he's telling that to go for it? Literally what I said earlier, he's like, I'm going to just break up with her and then we're going to split it. So she might as well get as much money and then we can just literally split it. I agree. I think I think that's it. I think he's a smart man. He's a businessman. He doesn't wear them glasses for no reason. So what do you want to do? You want to leave with $100,000 or three more questions get you $200,000? Line. 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 That man on the right is sitting there as a fucking shell of himself. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, just fucking... The guy on the left has no part in this. But the fucking three in the middle, they want to see this man on the right kill himself. Mom, what do you say for her to do? I say... Mom Take always it, leave it now. I know. Mom would say that. I, I'm gonna keep on going because. Oh, of course you are. Honest to God, just no. You're ruining your whole life, yeah, woman. By the way, I've just realised. I think his necklace is like two rings. Oh, I thought it was like one of them Call of Duty dog chains, like something you'd get at like the midnight release of like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them are way over my line. This one's further than that. It's like hot ones. It's just worse and worse and worse. This is worse than that. How can it get worse? If you had a prediction for what could be a worse question than that one, what are we saying? Have you cheated on your boyfriend? Well, the thing is, she knows what's coming next because she's answered these fucking questions. Yeah, that's what gets me. It's like, you know this worse coming, you're still going to continue. I wonder if they've, like, backstage, give us some really nice ones. It's just like, oh, maybe it's Alaska's what my favourite colour is. Or what I had for breakfast this morning. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? And it's gonna be yes, isn't it? You have? Oh, well, great, we've got the guy here. The mom's like, I've raised the devil. I want to know, right? You know, like, um, obviously she's raised by her parents. I'm wondering if she's took after her dad and her dad's secret was also that he's cheated. So I wonder if she's like, well, my dad did it. Like mother, like, no, like, 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 fab, like, 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 fab, like daughter. Go on, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> he's just sitting there like, what else is he supposed to do? This man was smiling at every question until it got to like question 13. <laughs> and he's not smiled since. I think you should just do a Will Smith and just go up and just dagger. Keep your ex-boyfriend's name <laughs> out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say yes. What do you mean I'm gonna have to say yes? It's not like the fucking, it's not the chase where you have to like guess. I think I'm gonna say, I think the answer is yes. Gotta yeah. take your first answer, unfortunately. Oh, head and hands moment. It's like me when I can see the last minute in FIFA. I know the feeling, buddy. Yeah, I, mean, I know the exactly feeling. exactly the same feeling. Two more gets you $200,000, but be careful. I feel like at this point as well, right? You're kind of plain sailing, right? Like you've answered like horrific questions, just answer the truth and then you win half a million. Like there's no point in lying now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, oh, let's see if you got this one right. It's not like she's going to be like, ha, psych, I didn't actually cheat on you. Unless she's like fucking part of the prank patrol and she's just trying to give him a silly giffy prank. The ninjas are coming out soon. He's fucking hoping it's like the fucking Truman <laughs> Show and he finds out he's in a freaking movie. Michael McIntyre just comes out. <laughs> it was all a prank. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? That's a shit question. Yeah, we all know the answer to that. But also, could this one make a trip up? Because what happens if she's like, she says, yes, I'm a good person, but actually... <coughs> you have the same mind. Like, she's going to say yes or no based on what she thinks. Who do you think a worse person is? Her or Paul Breach? Uh, her. At least she's... I mean, yeah, probably her. I'd love to see him on this show, though. Honestly, I... I think I am a good person. Oh, you're blinded. Blinded by your pride, love. I bet this is the one that's a lie. <laughs> the crowd gasping kind of gives it away. That answer is... No, it's not. No, it's not. How can you say that out loud next to the man that's just heard that he's been fucking cheated on? False. <laughs> Yeah, fuck your money. Mitch, you lost everything. That was all for nothing. Like, literally nothing. A husband's gone. I don't think it's a bad thing to say, like, I don't think I'm a good person. I think everyone's more harsh on themselves than nice to themselves. I think more people would say they're a bad person than more people would, would say they're a good person. Does that not show that she's kind of like, I don't know, what, what is, what's the word, is it? What, uh, narcissistic. You know when the people say, like, sociopaths, where, like, they just don't care about other people? She is all, obviously, like, delusional to the point. Like, like I said, I don't think it's a bad thing to think that you're not a good person. I think everyone, yeah. <laughs> he's good and he's like, I'm getting a divorce and there's no Money to pay for it. <laughs> that is the most upset I've seen him since it started. <laughs> and his wife has been admitted to getting raw dog and thinking about her ex boyfriend on their wedding day. Imagine that was his last straw. Well, at least, at least I know she's still a good person at heart. Oh, she's not even a good person. There's a lie, which means that somewhere in you, 
You haven't forgiven yourself. You know you're a fucking piece of shit. Somewhere in you is still the spawn of Satan just breathing loudly. Somewhere in you is still the sperm from the man that came inside you. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family and I thank you very much, Norm. Yeah, I don't think they want her anymore. Not only has she got to, like, you know, make up with her husband, she's also got to tell her mom about the secret her dad doesn't want her to know about. Oh, God, that's a tough card journey home. And you just know they're going to be squeezed in as well into, like, a fucking Toyota Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> go home, she's like, can we just sort this over a game of Monopoly? Oh no. Yeah, you better cry. Cry fucking more. She's just ruined her entire life and also came away penniless. She's actually in debt because it probably cost her money to get there. 3,000 likes and me and Lewis will react to another episode of Moment of Truth. And if you want to watch an even worse TV show, click here. Me and Lewis have reacted to it. It's terrible.